Excellent. We've finally got some prisoners heading into our prison here. Looks like we've got eight guys, one maximum security, some minimum security folks, and a few medium security as well. So a nice little mix there. I don't <laughs> like to see a maximum security guy come in uh, when we have you know, our first batch of prisoners, but you got to make do with what whatever they send you. Tom Austin, sentenced to 15 years. Actually, looks like he was sentenced to more than that for a variety of crimes, which none of which are actually that that terrible. But when you add them all together, I guess it's pretty bad. He's the guy we're gonna have to worry about the most. Uh, we also got some joyriding. Oh, nice, Paul Godwin, age 24, is already getting into voyeurism and insider trading. <laughs> a little bit white collar for our prison here but I suppose we're not being too discriminant yet so the guards will take care of them put them into the holding cell our immediate concern is going to be getting some grants going and actually I know this is the perfect one uh, administration center okay so all we need to do for that is basically hire an accountant and put him into the office so I've got a free office here, and we'll just go on to the staff, hire the accountant. <laughs> Done. Easy money. So next we'll do cell block A. This one is going to take a lot longer, but it gives us a lot of money up front too. So we're now at almost $70,000 to build our prison, which is a pretty nice chunk of change. Um, I think that, I wonder what the problem is with the foundation down here. Seems like there is a door. Hmm. Might have to cancel that. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any particular reason why that should be not fully constructed. Maybe that's a bug. Oh well, we'll we'll deal with that later. Right now I want to focus on getting our cell block built. Our first cell block. I want it to be 16 prisoners, uh, able to accommodate 16 prisoners because we'll be getting eight more tomorrow and it's good to plan ahead a little bit on that because by the time we actually get this finished we'll probably be well into the night. So if we're going to do 16 prisoners, uh, we'll probably want to do two blocks of eight cells each. The, the cells are two by three. So actually, we have to, to go in sort of this design. This is the basic idea here. Yeah, there we go. So that'll give us a two by three cell. And it's pretty easy to just replicate that. Now, I'm doing this with a hall around each side because the prisoners like to dig themselves out to escape. They'll start at the toilet, which I guess makes as much sense as anywhere to dig yourself out of a prison, and then they'll head towards the nearest wall. And the further the distance between the toilet and the wall, the, the more likely you are to detect them before they actually get free. Now, I'm also going to end up expanding my fences so that if they do get free, they don't have anywhere to go. But it's better to just let them not get out of the main part of the prison in the first place, of course. So we'll go ahead and plan the rest of this out. Nothing too fancy here. And put another hallway here for the reasons I already explained. Looks like it's auto saving. There we go. All right, so that's going to be our cell block. Uh, this this space down here at the bottom is just for services and etc. Uh, oh, actually, no, that's the uh, canteen and kitchen expansion. So that'll let us expand those areas, which we'll probably have to do pretty soon after we get more prisoners within a couple of days. And now I'm going to put down the foundation for our cell block. I'm just going to put down the foundation for the actual cell block, not for the kitchen and cat canteen expansion. Not any reason to spend the money if we don't have to spend it yet. 
And I'm not going to secure that with a jail door right there. I might secure it with a jail door here. So let's take a look here. Our showers are being used. That's good. Everything's working well there. Austin is exercising by running laps around the yard, apparently. Uh, and that reminds me, I, I think I will go ahead and add a few exercise benches here. The tends to make the inmates a little bit happier and less likely to riot if they can get their frustrations out by exercising. So let's see, our jail doors are in place. That's all going well. Everything looks secure. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. And it looks like our workers are starting to make good progress on the cell block. Let's look at our bureaucracy tree and see what we can unlock. I know that having, and we already got the health guys unlocked, so that's good. I should work on that grant next. I think what I would like to unlock is the clone tool, which actually lets you clone uh, parts of the prison you've already constructed. It's really helpful when you're building these big cell blocks. So you don't have to design the same design over and over again and build it over and over again. It saves a lot of time and frustration. So I'm going to put this back down to regular speed and think about the medical ward. Actually, this is what I want it to be, the medical ward right here. And for some reason, it's not... It just seems to be not working. And it's not letting me bulldoze it, which is odd. So maybe we can demolish walls? Demolish walls? Nope, that's not working. All right, so maybe I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try and build another foundation here and see if that works. All right, we'll try that. Hopefully that'll get our workers to actually complete this. I'm not sure if the problem was that there's a bunch of trees there and they didn't get fully removed or what happened, but obviously it's not working. What is our, Okay, what the hell is the accountant doing over there? I didn't put the accountant there. <laughs> no, that's not your office. I don't think I can actually get her to go to the other office, though. So, so that means I'm going to have to put a desk in here. I guess. I mean, apparently she doesn't mind not having a desk. And a filing cabinet. And a chair. And maybe these guys will eventually decide to go to the staff room <laughs> and get some rest. All right, so that fixed the foundation problem. Very nice. I'm going to put a wall here because this is supposed to be our visitation center. And the wall there. And on second thought, I'm going to take this door out because I want this to be a staff door. What I'm building here is the infirmary, and the infirmary can hold some drugs, it can hold some dangerous syringes, things that you don't necessarily want your prisoners to have hold of, and putting a staff door will help ensure they don't sneak in there while I'm not looking and grab some stuff. Uh, that is something they can do. I have fog of war turned on, so I don't know what the these prisoners are doing. If they go into the shower, the guy could get shanked, and I wouldn't necessarily know about it right away. All right, so staff door going up infirmary 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 there we go this is this is bigger than the infirmary needs to be right now but i suppose it's nice to have a little bit of room for expansion and then we'll add a uh, medical bed only add one because that's all i need right now and add some doctors that's awesome and I'm going to put a door on this office so the next person I put in there doesn't escape. Because the next person I'm going to put in there is my psychologist. All right. So once this medical once this medical ward is built, once the bed is in there, they will fulfill this grant and give me another $10,000. Awesome. All right. Let's look at our grants again. We have prison mate. Oh, visitation rights is probably the one to go with right now. All I really need to do is put in some visita visitation tables and put in a common room. Be pretty easy money. So visitation center is going to go right here. 
mark it. And I'm going to put in a jail door so that we have sort of an airlock system here. And they have to go through the jail door, and the staff has to let them in here in order to visit the prisoners. I'll make it a little bit safer, a little bit harder for the prisoners to escape. See how many visitation tables we can cram in here. I'll just go ahead and put in six. Can afford it right now. It's the wonder of grants. All right, so that's done. How's our cell block? Looks like our cell block is all finished up here. So now it's just a matter of putting in the walls and the beds and etc. And also the utilities, of course. So I'll run my electricity up here. Simple enough. And a large pipe is going to be required. So I think I'll run it up this way. Through here. And maybe up this way. That'd probably be the mo one of the more efficient options. Is my clone tool unlocked? No, it's still researching, it looks like. Oh, uh, shoot. The reason why it's not researching is because I don't have the maintenance guy. I need to hire one. So what that means I need to finish this office. So let's handle that real quick. Another desk. What is going... <laughs> So I think I think everyone saw that I put the psychologist in the other office, right? I mean, I'm not making this up. I put him in the other office, and he decided to just wander over here because I guess he likes the scenery better. Whatever. I mean, that works one way or the other because now I can just go ahead and hire a foreman, and he's good to go immediately, and he can research the clone tool. As you can see, we're now running a negative cash flow, but like I said, that is fine because we've got plenty of grant money to work off of for a while. Could put some walls in here where our fences are currently acting as our walls because that just makes more sense. And then we'll put in walls for our cell block. Really wish my clone tool was finished now, but what are you going to do? Yes, spending money, spending money. You're seeing that uh, grant money going down pretty quickly. Walls are deceptively expensive. They're 50 each, and you think, $50, that's not so bad. But then you realize once you get done with something like this, you've spent, you know, several thousand dollars just on walls. That's really what makes cell blocks uh, very expensive to build. The game itself recommends you put a holding cell in first, because if you try to go straight for the old cell block, you're probably going to go broke pretty quickly. Now these guys are all going to want beds because they're needy like that. So we'll grab some beds for them. And they're also going to want toilets. Can't give them bedpans. It's not an option in this game. Um, I think for the toilets, I'm gonna. it's going to look kind of weird, but I'm going to put these ones here because that's going to shorten the amount of pipe I need to put down. And it's also going to make it less likely the prisoners will dig out to the wall. Now, it's a little bit of a risk to put the toilets on the big pipe. I might end up regretting that because apparently prisoners can escape through the pipe, but I guess this is a risk I'm going to have to take right now. It looks like that's all pretty much ready to go. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, like I said earlier, another jail door. A big jail door. Just in case they get too rowdy. So, that'll take care of the, our cell block. And once that's all complete, we should see our prisoner capacity go up to 16. And we'll get the, the $20,000 from the grant. be very nice. 
Something I think I'm going to do now is expand our office space a little bit because I want to have a head of security. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Yes. There we go. So I'll have a head of security down there. It'll allow me to enable patrols. And I can use a guard to patrol around this area and make sure everyone's keeping quiet at night. We also need to consider getting a common room for our visitation rights uh, grant. And where would be a good place to put a common room, I wonder? I feel like putting it off the yard might make sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a wall back in here by the canteen because that got taken out from the foundation. So let's see. Building a common room right here. That's a big common room. I think we should go a little bit smaller right now. We don't need something that big. Yeah, that'll do. So that'll be our common room. Increase the speed a little bit. And how are our prisoners doing as far as food and everything? Looks like they're doing okay. Let's take a look at them in our needs menu. Family. They, they really want to see their family. That's making them pretty unhappy. I don't know how unhappy they are exactly right now because they don't have my head of security. And without him, you can't tell what the danger level is in your prison. But we'll be getting him pretty soon. And I also think that tomorrow there will probably be some families heading in. It looks like oh, Paul Godwin's going to be released soon. And we have one family waiting to visit tomorrow. So that should start to take care of some of the family issue. It's just about bedtime. A wall's not complete there, surprisingly. But it looks like our office is about done. Let me get our head of security. And our cells are also about done. Oh, one thing very important that I forgot to add to these cells. Gel doors. Yes, you do need gel doors on your gel cells as it happens. So that's another cool $200 for, per gel door. So once we get those installed, we're going to mark these as cells. And that should cover it. Grant completed. Pause the game. See what else we got for grants. I feel like that going for... Hmm. Security procedure would require 10 guards. It seems a little excessive right now. But it is good money. And I am going to get the security chief anyway. On the other hand, I already have a foreman. And this requires hiring less guys. But I do need to unlock some things through bureaucracy. I think I will go for maintenance, though. I'll just go ahead and get groundskeeping and cleaning on the queue. And by the time we're in tomorrow afternoon, we will have that all taken care of. Add in a wall here. Wall here. Wall here. Add in our office. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Small mistake. Not a big problem. Office desk. Chair. You know. You know the drill by now. Filing cabinet. And... Now we can get our head of security in there. Well, I have to unlock it in bureaucracy, of course. Of course, of course. I've got to do that. So, once we unlock him... We'll put them into this office. So things are looking pretty good. We've got our cell block going. <laughs> uh, this poor worker, unfortunately, is trapped. So we're going to put in a staff door so he can get out. That's something you have to watch for because the workers will trap themselves within fenced areas if you don't watch out for it. I also want to put a fence around the cell block. And another staff door will be necessary. Actually, a staff door is necessary for this. Yeah, so we'll put one there. And while I'm at it with the fences, 
I think I will go ahead and put one around the utilities as I mentioned earlier. I don't want any sabotage if that is something that can occur. It would be very bad for a person to get in there and tinker with the water supply or something like that. Bam. All right. Hmm, I'm a little concerned about the power level. You can see it's it's pretty close to maxed out. And if the power level goes beyond the maximum, things just shut down. That's it. Like all the lights turn off. There's nothing else you can do about it. So we'll get the, uh, we'll get a capacitor put in. That'll take care of it for a little while. Looks like our common room area is ready. Put that finishing touches on that. Prisoner intake is about to happen. Not a big deal though. We got plenty of room. I think we got plenty of guards too. Common room is going to require a pool table. And actually, the funny thing is, you don't have to put it in there. I've noticed. I actually had put the pool table in my staff room before, and it still counted. <laughs> so sometimes I do that, but uh, I guess I, I'll give the prisoners here a pool table. I'll be nice to them. Put in some sofas and some televisions. That's a bit close to the sofa, but it doesn't matter. Oh, and I need some phone booths. Phone booths, yeah. Where are the phone booths? Is that them? No, that's not them. Here we go. So we'll line those up in the common room. I know, phone booths are expensive, right? $300? More than a jail door. Ooh, we got two maximum security guys in this latest latest batch. We've got Jack Tackle Road. Got kicked out of the NFL for multiple fights and bars. And he's in here for attempted murder and assaulting an officer. That's pretty bad. And we've got Nathaniel Kohler, an early prodigy who is now in for attempted murder. Well, we'll make them nice and comfortable, and hopefully none of them will try to escape out any pipes. That's the biggest concern, I think, as far as escaping prisoners goes right now. Let's look at our bureaucracy. It looks like everything is done, right? Okay. So we're going to do deployments. That'll give us some patrols. And in the meantime, time to hire a janitor or two. Because as you can see, everything is looking pretty nasty. And that just keeps going unless you hire a janitor. Nothing, nothing gets cleaned up. The rest of your staff cannot pick up a dish rag. Uh, well, I suppose maybe the chefs can. But otherwise, things just get nastier and nastier until everyone's... Until the, until the prisoners are so grossed out, they, they riot, and that's not good. All right, so we just got rid of our uh, gardening grant, and it looks like uh, all of our grants are completed. So I'm going to get security procedure cer certification, which is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, hiring 10 guards is still a bit excessive, but I suppose I can I do it, or I might hold off on actually completing that for a day or two. And uh, prison maintenance, mm, yeah, prison prison maintenance, or okay, prisoner acclimation. It's the one where you get them to work in various areas. Uh, I actually think I'll go for education because some of the stuff that it this one this grant requires some of the education um, benefits in order to actually complete because you have to train your guys to do certain things. So without education, the other grant is ultimately uh, can't be completed, generally speaking. So it looks like our second day here has been pretty successful. We now have 16 prisoners, or 15 prisoners actually, one got released. I believe that was a guy in on voyeurism, so hopefully he won't be out doing any more peeping Tom shit. And we've got ourselves a common room, we've got a bunch of grants, and we're sitting on almost $100,000 because of the grants we completed. I have to say, so far this prison has gone pretty damn well, especially in terms of getting the grants completed cheaply. I mean, that's a lot of money to end up with at this stage of the game. 